ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by obviously right now in warzone we have the largest number of weapons available to use uh, that we've ever had in history we've got the modern warfare arsenal we've got the cold war arsenal we've also got the vanguard arsenal we also have arsenal as a drop spot as well but that's not relevant and something i feel like is very clear right now in warzone is the fact that there is still a profound community for modern warfare you know just going off of how broken modern warfare is at the time that i'm recording this video with all the issues that's going on there i see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments asking about that game and also about the modern warfare meta in warzone there's still a lot of players who like to use the og modern warfare metas and all those weapons because they have a good feel i mean let's be honest warzone was based and built on that game so it makes sense that they feel the best that a lot of them look the best in a lot of cases so today i wanted to focus specifically on the modern warfare meta and go over which weapons from the mw era are still worth using here in caldera and during the vanguard era of warzone so as we go through it all if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it would be seriously appreciated and of course if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed this is the best place to be for everything going on in cod and right around 58 percent of viewers watching are not already subs so if you want to stay up to date with everything feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on so first up this should be a surprise and no one we've got the car 98k yeah this has seen a couple of nerfs so has the swiss which were really the two main sniping options in warzone pre pacific era but i mean now the car 98k is still one of the goats in the game it's still probably the most consistent sniping option we have and the setup has actually changed a little bit for the longest time for really like two years the setup was pretty much the same now though because of some other nerfs you do have to change things up a little bit as always though we are going for the monolithic suppressor and the 27.6 inch barrel that's going to keep us off the radar give us the best range and velocity possible i still go for the tack laser get you some better uh, aiming stability than also a better ads which is super convenient i like the sniper scope that's just sort of my go-to there it feels nice it looks clean I'm also using the cross thread reticle on that as always just sort of like a t-pose very clean and easy to stay on target with enemies and then normally i'd be running something like the sport comb stock for better ads but because of the whole flinch nerf that we got with the pacific updates focus now is pretty much a must-have this helps with the flinch resistance it makes it way way easier to stay on target if you're getting shot so that is pretty much a must have but without a doubt the car is still one of the top modern warfare weapons another weapon that absolutely is still viable in a lot of cases is the fin lmg and this is primarily because of the whole uh fire rate increasing barrels as we know and as we've talked about multiple times a while back on the channel uh this thing is just gonna fry everyone because it has such a great ttk over range one that very closely mimics the mg82 from cold war which as we know is one of the top killing weapons and fastest killing weapons in the game uh so really while this is sort of a sleeper weapon it absolutely is one of the better options we have right now especially in terms of overall ttk it is going to be a bit slower because it's a modern warfare weapon and the attachments are always not super helpful in the mobility category but when it comes down to it the fin does still fry here in caldera pretty basic setup here we're going for the monolithic suppressor as always you got to be using the long shot adverse barrel that's what makes or breaks this gun without it it's completely useless it's not worth running but with the better range velocity and fire rate that's what's going to give you that insane ttk i kind of like using the blue dot hollow sight on this you could also use the vlk three times though if you wanted to for some slightly better range commando foregrip basic recoil control and then also i go for the hunter round belt just because that fire rate is pretty crazy and without it you're gonna be reloading quite a bit so this just helps out a bit with that sticking on the trend of the lmgs the pkm is still one of the goats in warzone this is a weapon that's really stood the test of time honestly i mean it was good when warzone first launched and we had this as an option it is good now and it's never really fallen out of the uh meta in a way it's never been like that number one go-to weapon i would say but it's always been one of those top competitors especially for modern warfare weapons set up here again gonna be pretty standard going for the monolithic suppressor i like to go for the heavy barrel over the extended barrel just the, the extra control you're getting out of extended is not worth the even worse mobility this is already a very slow weapon so heavy to me works just fine because we also have the snatch grip on there that's going to help out with ads and control which is super nice tack laser better stability better ads speed as well and then again either the blue dot hollow sight or the vlk three times optic whichever fits your fancy and i'm sure plenty of you are already typing up a comment about this of course when we're talking the modern warfare meta we cannot forget the bruin this thing was absolutely dominant at one point in warzone it was the best gun in the game obviously it's received some nerfs since then but still it is pretty competitive it's a very fun rifle lmg hybrid weapon definitely not as slow as some of the other 
other choices. And it really uh, is surprising to me that so many Modern Warfare LMGs are still so good here in Warzone, uh, even so much longer after release, right? So kind of a surprising one that this is still up there, but it absolutely is one of the better choices. Same setup we've been running here for a while, though. Monolithic Suppressor, Summit Barrel for the best range control velocity. You definitely need this one for that better control after the whole control nerf on the 60 round mags. They're still worth using, but it's not going to be as much of a laser beam as it once was. Uh, you can either go for the TAC laser or the Commando Foregrip if you, uh, you know, prefer a little bit of speed and stability over some slightly better control. Go for TAC laser. If you just want this thing to be no recoil, very beamy, go for the Commando Foregrip. And then again, either the Blue Dot Hollow Sight or the VOK 3x Optic. Now, I would say the MWMP5 is still one of the top Modern Warfare weapons in specific. I don't think it's necessarily one of the best SMG choices in the general game right now, but if we're just talking MW weapons, it's still incredibly, incredibly consistent, despite receiving some slight nerfs with the Pacific update, which I'm not going to lie, I don't feel like it entirely needed, but uh, it's going to be slightly less efficient than before, but still one of the better MW choices, in my own opinion at least. Same setup that we've been running here for a long, long time, though. Monolithic Integral Suppressor, as always, slightly better than just the basic monolithic, and it's a two-for-one attachment. Merc Foregrip for the better hip fire and control. 45-round mag, slide of hand just because I feel like it makes it a bit more aggressive. Then definitely the FTAC collapsible stock. You need that better movement speed for sure right now, uh, so that's a big deal on this setup, I would say, now more so than ever before, but definitely still a very solid setup. Another weapon I feel like that does not get enough credit is the CX-9. We waited so, so long for this to finally be added into the game, then it happened, it was hyped for like two weeks, then it sort of went to the back burner, right? This thing is still insane. It has a very, very good TTK. The reload on this thing is insanely good, so it can be used very aggressively, like all around. I'm a big fan of the CX-9, even though it doesn't get that much attention anymore. Definitely one of the better MW weapons that we still have in the game, though. Uh, for starters, Monolithic Suppressor here. You could try the CX-38S barrel, which is basically the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, but I feel like it is slightly better just using the Monolithic than the first barrel here. Better range, velocity, control. Does hurt the mobility a bit, but it gives it a bit more versatility when it comes down to it. I go for the 50-round drum here, just your basic extended mag. Slot of hand makes the reload utterly insane. Like, it's a must-have on this setup because it is so so fast and then finally i go for the fr stock this is basically like the collapsible stock or the remove stock better movement speed better ads makes it a bit more aggressive really is not that hard to control in my opinion clean iron sights like all around this is a very versatile smg and one that i absolutely still love using and then to round out the smgs for today we've got the mp7 i feel like this one is especially useful here on caldera because this is a great sniper support weapon. Uh, it's great for close and for medium range fights because it has surprisingly good range for an SMG, next to no recoil, like all around as we know for the longest time, it's been a great medium range sort of hybrid SMG in that sense. And the same still is true here on Caldera. And especially after seeing nerfs to the OTS, to both MP5s, I feel like the MP7 sort of indirectly increases in overall efficiency here. Again, same setup that we've been running for quite some time. Monolithic suppressor, the recon barrel for the better range control and velocity, especially good for that sniper support build. TAC laser for some better stability, 60 round mags, then also the icon, something I never get to say anymore, the Stippy Grippy. Better ADS there, you don't really need an underbarrel, the control is so easy, the recoil is so simple on this gun, and still, like I said, a very competitive SMG, even almost two years later. Another weapon that absolutely sort of gets brushed under the rug, despite still having a very competitive TTK and good range, is going to be the Ram 7. It does have a little bit more bounce than some of the other weapons that are in the meta right now. It definitely takes a little bit more to use, but hey, the Ram 7, when it comes down to it, is great for medium range. You could use it a lot more aggressively, even as sniper support if you wanted to, but it also works very well for ranged fights too, built as like that standard AR setup for Modern Warfare weapons. It still is a beast. It hasn't been touched in a long, long time, so it absolutely still holds its own. As far as the setup goes here, obviously, running Monolithic Suppressor yet again. The Ranger Barrel for that better control, range, and velocity. VLK 3x Optic on this one for sure. Commando Foregrip for better control. Then also the 50-round mags. The only mag option here, you definitely got to run it. That fire rate's a little bit higher, so you do run out of ammo pretty quickly. You don't want to be reloading too much, so that's pretty much uh, necessary on this setup. And then to round things out, we've got... One of the GOATs when it comes to Modern Warfare weapons, the CR-56 AMAX. You know I can't talk about the Modern Warfare meta without mentioning this thing. While it's not the number one most overpowered weapon in the game anymore like it once was at one point in time, it absolutely can still hold its own, especially now after we've seen all these TTK nerfs to a lot of the Cold War weapons and even some Vanguard weapons already. 
while this is not the fastest killing weapon in the game it still is very competitive and can hold its own versus some of those top tier cold war or vanguard weapons so the amax absolutely still one of the best choices here very standard setup monolithic suppressor zodiac barrel for better range velocity and control i really haven't been running the commando foregrip on this anymore tack laser instead better stability better ads speed makes it a little bit more aggressive a little bit more control at least visual bounce that you'll notice but it's really not too much it's very easy to get used to that 45 round mags and of course the vlk three times optic once more and with all that being said that is effectively the modern warfare meta right now here in warzone pacific there's a surprising amount of pretty solid weapons i would say from modern warfare still that absolutely can hold their own of course there's also a lot of other sleeper weapons that we probably could have mentioned as well things like the growl the kilo while they're not the fastest killing in the world they're very easy to use and pretty popular still because people use them with fully loaded and whatnot like there's actually a pretty solid amount of Modern Warfare weapons that are still viable here on Caldera, which I love to see. But that is going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. And of course, if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed, this is the place to be for everything going on in COD. Between news, updates, loadouts, tips, it's all right here each and every single day. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.